Hello, hello. Today we are taking a look at Vidrado by Artin Games and designed by João Quintela Martins. This game comes in both Portuguese and English. Can you manage a traditional tile factory? To achieve this, you will have to master the four different stages in the manufacturing process of typical Portuguese tiles. These are the very famous Azulejos. Um, there's a very famous game out there now, Azul, that also uses a kind of similar theme. So this game, 2 to 4, 7 and up, 25 to 30 minutes. Alright, let's see what is inside. Nothing left? Nope. So what do we have? We have the rules. Ah, some other games, Gelato Mio, which I'm also submitting an unboxing video and a review. Watch out for that. These are the rules in English, rules in Portuguese. Let's set them aside. That's a lot of rules to be in these cards. So, in Vidrados, players are workers at a small factory specialized in decorative tiles. Alright, set up instructions, warehouse, thematic description of resources, neat. Guess rules, rules, benefits of producing tiles. Alright, let's take a look at the cards. So, what do we have here? Vidrado, and on this side, maybe some rules references. Alright, then what we have here, let's take a look at those. No, that's it, let's start on this side. <laughs> Master Alfredo, nice. I guess this is some sort of objective. Nice style artwork over here. Alright, then we have, I think this card belongs there. Also there. Alright, vibrado, blue. Some more objectives with some tiles. E F A B. Alright. Okay, then what do we have here? That's really neat as a leisure artwork. I really like these tiles. I wonder if they are based on something that exists or if they are his own make. Alright. Looks like you need to color them on this side. Cool. What else do we have here? You kind of, with this reverse, let's try something new. Alright, what do we have? So these cards are brown on one side, white on the other. Now ah, that's neat artwork. Step one of doing the azulejos, I guess. Let's take a look at those. Uh, ten. Alright, cool. So, brown cards, white cards, I guess with step two. Nice. Are you painting at this step? Could be. Well, when you're done playing this, you can make your own azulejos. How cool is that? <laughs> so, looks like this is the painting step. Neat. Alright, numbers, points. I really like the artwork for this game, really cool. Alright, some um, of the brown tiles, like they are over there. Some more, I guess they are all the same. Here on the bottom there's something different, but the artwork is the same. Alright, brown, white, okay, same artwork. Here on the bottom it changes once again. Okay. Then we have grey. Out of curiosity, let's see what they call these steps. So, because they told us they talk about it. Brown symbolizes the clay that will be modeled in a tile shape, alright? White symbolizes a ceramic glaze, which is a complex mixture of very oxides that will be used to bathe the tile, alright? Grey symbolizes a charcoal powder, that's what it is, that will define the design through perforated parchment paper applied with a cloth doll. Blue deck symbolizes paint to the paint tile. Paint consists in oxides, carbonates and chromates of various metals. The colors of most of these paints completely change color after the glaze is fired and the respective painting is done. For game purpose, these paints will be represented in their final colors. Dark blue, light blue and yellow. Hmm, cool, some thematic appeal. Alright, so here are the paints, certified. Looks like every color follows a pattern. 
with one different card, some certified. Then the back changes, but this image stays the same, really cool. All right, that's a lot of cards. I will be writing a review for this, so check it out on Board Game Geek, and thanks for watching.